All right, in this PowerPoint lesson, I want to talk about opening files. Uh, so from file here, you can go to, you can open, of course, an existing PowerPoint presentation, which we'll probably do it later. But for now, I want to talk about new. And when you go to new, you got blank presentations, which is what you're going to be doing most of the time. However, there are some templates available. Now, I'm not connected to the internet right now, so I can't show you some of the online templates, but there are hundreds of them. So if you're looking for something that's already been done, you, you can easily find it, not a problem. Um, but for now, I'm going to go uh, just to blank here, and just how this is how I get a brand new presentation, and more on what you do from here uh, later. But the other thing I want you to know is that you can open an existing document as a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, two examples. Uh, one is if you have a basic text file somewhere, it could be Word, could be uh, in WordPad, whatever. Um, if you have just a basic outline like this, this can be converted by PowerPoint into a presentation. Now, I have basic generic slide one. It could, this could be anything. This could be uh, country, city, state, whatever. It could be whatever list that you, you have. Um, can be opened as a PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to go to PowerPoint here and show you how that would work. So you would simply go to File and Open, and you would find the file that we're talking about. And I just happen to have that ready here. And it's just a basic text file. Now, when you go to Open, you will it will automatically default to PowerPoint. So you're not going to find that text file. So you need to ask to see all files if you want to do this. And once you do, find the file that you want to open. And when you hit open, it's automatically going to turn every one of those headings into a separate slide. So if you've got a bunch of stuff already typed in a Word document, you can convert that quite easily into a PowerPoint by just following those steps. Now, it's not very often that you have a text file, let's be honest. So we're going to go with something even more generic, more, not generic, but more popular, is if you have an actual Word file. So here, I have a Word file with some stuff, right? Uh, and again, instead of slide one, I can have team one, team two, team three, team four, team five, right? And I can have actual data here. The only thing that you need to remember is when you, whatever, whenever you want a new slide, that has to be a heading one, all right? So that's gonna be a new slide, that's gonna be a new slide, that's gonna be a new slide, okay? Because I made those heading ones. As far as the bulleted items inside the slide, the next ones would be heading two. And if you wanted to bullet even further in, further indented, you would go heading three. So if you had another list after this, I would go heading three here and go more stuff. So that'll be indented. It should be indented even further. And that's supposed to be heading three. There you go. And I would save that. Okay, so now, um, so th that's the rule. If you're going to start this and you're going to have this in Word, uh, the, the titles need to be heading one, all right, and then after that, heading two, all the way to nine will work. So I'm going to go into PowerPoint here and I'm going to open that, but as a PowerPoint presentation, I should probably, just to be safe, close it here. All right, so we're going to go to File, and Open. Gonna find that file. It's that one right there, right? And again, the only reason it's finding it is because here it's showing all files. And here we go. There we are. And that worked exactly as I thought it was going to work. Anything that was heading one, you got a new slide. Heading two was the first item in the bulleted list, and heading three was the next item, and so on. So, uh, those are the basic things you need to know about opening uh, a new or existing uh, file uh, in PowerPoint 2013.